I'm sorry, but what if I can't fix it? Then what do we do? Remember what Tenderheart used to tell us. Believe in yourself. If you fail, try again. Have confidence in yourself. I know you can fix it. You know, I just wasn't confident when I built this thing. I was too worried about what might happen, instead of just believing in myself. Pika does not need more worry. Grumpy fix Riffle said, please. Don't worry, guys. I'm on the case. Come on, Grump Powerbot. We're gonna make it happen. There. Now you can handle our Care Bear Steer. Part one of the problem solved. Now for part two. Listen up, everyone. Our Care Bear Steer was weak because I didn't believe it would work. I'm confident it will work now. Can we try again, but with our new and improved Grump Bot? Yeah! yeah. Ready? Ready! Absolutely! Care Bear Stare! That should do it. until stuff started moving, and then we, uh, well, didn't. Help! Help! Listen, that's good luck. I hear him. Me too. Yeah! Dude, talk about super hearing. Oh, you can all be my sidekicks. Fun, Shine, we can play later. But right now, we have to find good luck. I am Stupendo. And I'm on it. Won't let you down, bro. Help! Hey! Up here! Oh, oh no! Hmm. Oh yes! This calls for Extra Super Stupendo Bear! Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, bro. Whew. Don't thank me yet, dude. I don't know if this is gonna work. I thought of putting it in the first issue, but then I was like, nah, nobody would believe even Stupendo could do it. Do what? Well, uh, this! No! So, what do you think? Put it in the first issue, too crazy, in, out, what? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, do these things make everything look weird or what? Weird plants, weird whiffles, big old weird blob in the sky. <gasps> big blob, big blob! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, uh, uh, oh no! Oh, so sorry, Mr. Whiffle, sir. Uh, really, really sorry. Huh? Ah, Prudle. <gasps> Hello, Blob. Oh, thank you, thank you. Blob gone, Blob gone. All is pretty huh? Blob gone. Where'd it go? <laughs> hey! <laughs> ah, yes. We're bad and invisible. No one can see us. 
thanks to my genius. Oh. Ahem. Well, actually, thanks to my camouflage paint. It changes the color of our blimp. Ah, my blimp. The Bluster Blimp. Named after me, uh, Bluster. Ugh. It changes the color of your blimp to match the color of the sky. So no one can see it. Ugh, fine, Robbie. Brag all you want. You may have mixed the paint, but it was my idea. <laughs> oh, boy. More water. Beam it up. Can't find where the water's going because you're looking in the wrong direction. <laughs> now I'm detecting a small additional element of badness in the sea. It's from Robbie. Whoa, Robbie? Oh, she didn't do it. I did. <gasps> I, Malcolm, stuffed all of Bluster's badness into the seed, and then I added in what little Robbie had for good measure, and all their badness will. Mine as soon as I touch that seed! <gasps> Don't do it, Malcolm! You'll get hurt! The badness must be returned to its original owners! You care about what happens to me? Ha! I'm on my way to touch the seed. I will become Madman Malcolm, the baddest of the bad! <laughs> Dude, you really need to work on your bluster impersonation. <laughs> We can't let Malcolm succeed. You have to get the seed's contents back into Bluster and Robbie. Robbie, pull a U-turn. Share, push the scanners to the limits and see if you can pick up anything that might be Bluster and Robbie. I'm rerouting the Hugbot. Funny, uh, fun shine says, We try! And if that doesn't work, we try again! <laughs> like bedtime's math. What are your instincts telling you, Cheer? 
that this is going to get worse before it gets better. No use. We've lost touch with them. We have no idea where they are. Uh, we know exactly where they are. Uh, unless, of course, the map is, in fact, uh, wrong. What does your instinct tell you, Bedtime? <laughs> you mean intuition? Guesswork? Goodness, Tenderheart, really, let's keep our wits about us. Let me fix us all a nice bit of uh, toast and uh, jam. <laughs> Nothing like it to uh, calm the nerves. <gasps> Bedtime, why is that page thicker than the others? What? Where? Who? Oh, you, oh, you mean this? Uh, oh, my. Oh, dear. I must have stuck them together with jam. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. I've sent them the wrong way! Where are they now? If they're in the bubble bog, they're in great danger! Oh, no! Perhaps if we... Oh, dear, what have I done? We could bounce a signal off this part of the canyon, then that one over there, then here, off this. After that, we may get in touch with them. It's worth a try. Bears, listen up. Fog make bears small like Mac. Duck bears, duck! Ducks? What's the mini-dude talking about? Looky, look! Hey! What's oh, going on? Major fogginess. <laughs> trying to warn us about. What's with that weird fog? I'm calling Karen Control. Bedtime might know something about it. The bad news is you got caught in a blinky, shrinky fog. One touch and you're miniaturized. The good news is it's always followed by a blinky, piggy fog that will reverse the miniaturization process. What do we have to do? You need to be high enough off the ground to touch the blinky, piggy fog as it passes by. What happens if we miss it? I'm afraid your miniaturization will be permanent. <gasps> Better get yourselves as high off the ground as possible. We got that covered. Dibble can take us to one of the berry trees. We can climb high enough to touch the fog. Good, because according to my research, the Blinky Biggie should arrive at any moment. Can you see it yet? No. Hey, Dibble, you see a new fog coming? Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, can one of you guys bounce high enough to see if there's a fog coming? No problem, dude. Good luck. Give me a big send-off on your end. Ready, set, launch time! <clears throat> and we have liftoff! Hey, Devil, what's up? Me, that's what! Hi, Bunshine! Uh-oh, we got a fog coming in. Whoops! With a little luck, we'll still find her ball. No, things lost in Silver Island stay lost forever. Dibble's ball is with the Keeper. Keeper. Huh? 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 I know it sounds strange, but the Keeper is more than a local legend. 
According to my research, all lost items in the silver lining are transported to the Keeper and become his property. Where is this guy? We'll just go ask for Dibble's ball back. He supposedly lives in the Canyon of the Lost, but it's a long journey. I don't know if it's worth the risk for just a ball. Secure the decks. Stow all gear. We're going on a road trip. are about what's going on in their hearts. Oh, wait! Um, listen, I just wanted to say I apologize to you because I really didn't want you to feel bad. But when I apologized to the mushroomy thingy guy, it was... Uh, it was more about me because I didn't know why he was laughing. You have a good heart. You will be a good gardener. of you for going through with this, Grumpy. Grumpy be king of Wiffles? Not stay with us anymore? Don't worry, kiddo. It's all gonna work out. I hope. I shall perform my official first act as your new head gardener. <laughs> I'm truly sorry, mushroomy thingy. I realize now that someone might be hurt on the inside, even though it doesn't look that way on the outside. I'm also sorry to say that I regret not wanting to be your new head gardener. <gasps> I still have so much work to do with my fellow Care Bears to keep the silver lining safe for all. But the most important reason is you deserve a better head gardener than I could ever be. So, using my authority as your new head gardener, I'm giving the job back to your old head gardener. Oh! My ice flowers. Your ice flowers? How come you're growing them here? This place used to be warm. It grows warmer on my mountain. Avalanches swept my flowers away. I brought my snow here to keep them alive. I am very sorry. I thought no one lived here. But now where can I go? The plateau where we built the skate park would be perfect. Except the skate park is there. Aww. Let's give it to her. But your skate park! Hey, if Dibble's willing to give up Snowy, it's the least I can do. <gasps> friend will never melt. Oh, thank you! Follow us. We'll lead you there. <laughs> Just point the way and we can go together.
What's the deal? Are you the voice thieves? So Fess up, little loud. dudes. Oh, hold on, guys. I can't hear them. The Wiffles can't hear us either because we're so quiet and they're so loud. Where is Cher's voice? Oh, it's uh, right here. We took turns using it. We didn't mean any harm. Huh? We just wanted to borrow a voice that maybe the Wiffles would listen to. We have something very important to tell them, but they're so busy arguing all the time, they can't hear us. No, it's my turn uh -uh. to do it. You did it last time. Boom, Mart. The two. It's my turn to do it. Doesn't seem like borrowing Cher's voice was very helpful. This voice didn't help either. At least I tried. I got this. Cher says she will listen to you. Woohoo! <laughs> Nailed it! Charade a king. We'll all listen to you. Well, these fields of flowers are as old as the silver lining. We've lived here a very long time. We too are running out of room to live. We need more flowers to make more of our underground homes. But planting our magical flowers is something only you Wiffles can do. We know where there's a secret clearing that has room for many more of our flowers. Will you help us? Ah. Ah. When I granted your wish, I made you all funny all the time. Ah. All the time? You didn't tell me that. Aw, oh, didn't I? And I guess the joke's on you. Dude, that isn't funny. No one ever tells the Laughing Puff he isn't funny. Well, you're not. So, you want to break the terms of the wish, huh? Tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to have a contest. For a fixed period of time, you must not laugh, giggle, chuckle, or even sniss, 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 snigger, while I, the Laughing Puff, do my best to crack you up. Huh? If you succeed, I shall remove the spell, but if you fail... Ah. Huh? You'll spend the rest of eternity as my audience, laughing at all my jokes forever! Yeah. What do you say? If that's the chance I gotta take to unwish this bogus wish, then I'm in. <laughs> this is how long you must keep a straight face! Remember, one laugh, and you lose. Yikes! Sala! We 
have a job to do. <laughs> you junior cowbells now. We got a job to do. It's time to play the missing part game. Whoever finds it first wins. Yay! <laughs> As your prize, Gibby, you get to put this important part in place. It's not really fixed, but my emergency repair ought to hold. If we're, you know, lucky. <sighs> Everything will be all right. I've brought my bloom bubbles with only minutes to spare. Uh, careful now. Easy, uh, easy. Uh, no worries. I weighed it down even more, so there's no chance it can float away. Uh, uh. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, follow the lousy rock! Oh, oh, the clap! Catch it! Uh, uh. A little help? Oh, my bloom bubbles. Oh, my... Oh, they're ruined! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Look, everyone! They're beautiful. More beautiful than I could have dreamed. I... I don't understand. I think I do. It was because of our friend Good Luck. When he broke the reverse control, it kept us from backtracking and wasting time. Taking the short, steep road was faster than the long, easy road. And that crazy noise from the engine helped you find the Cloud Seeker. And when he dropped the trunk, it mixed the bubbles together. And that's what made the flowers so very beautiful. <laughs> hey, Good Luck, what's up? Hey! Well, I just wanted a call to... What'd you say? You're breaking up. Must be the same interference that knocked out my nav computer. <gasps> what happened to your nav computer? We're lost, bro. But Grumpy's never failed navigational system... Failed. We need your sense of... We lost the connection. Oh, no. Yikes. Thanks so much for being so nice to me. But I'm afraid I have to go. My friends are in trouble. We'll understand. But I promise to return if you ever need my help again. Oh, good luck to you. Hmm, which way to the Cloud Seeker? That way! Working right. Right? Right? Left is right. Good luck. Good, you. Luck. Good to see you. Bad vibes have messed up my nap computer and your nap maps. Hmm. Maybe they can work together with my sense of direction. Yeah! 
Okay, Cheer. Let's try a ride at that tree up ahead. Think I'll right at the next tree. Hey, that thing is sounding more like you, dude. You're unscrambling it. Reprogramming it to think like you. This is the cutting edge of cloud research. Dibble's a unique little dudette, so if I scope out what she does, <laughs> I can learn the unique stuff it takes to make a cloud. Muddy, mud, mud. Muddy, mud. Oh. Okay, this is it. Here comes her. Oh. Mud pie? Huh. Get it? What's unique about that? <laughs> <sighs> Would you look at that kid? Pure joy. <laughs> Having so much fun. It's like she's floating on a cloud. <gasps> so that's how she does it. Joy, pure joy. Which means to get my own cloud, I just got to experience the same thing. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> oh boy. Muddy mud, mud, muddy. Only if you can help me get so happy that I feel joy like you do. Hmm. Okie dokie. Cher, you were right. The tracker is a shapeshifter. No! No! Wait, let us help you! Let me be! There's nothing you can do to help. It's all his fault. Wait! Who started it all? Huh? huh? We were once a single being called the Clatter Track. Sometimes we were silly, sometimes we were serious. But he thought that playtime was all the time. If it was up to him, we'd never have any fun. He was always acting silly. He got us into big trouble. Oh, no. It got so bad, we began to magically change from one to the other. He's always goofing off. And he's always trying to stop me. Oh. Oh, why can't you leave me alone? Oh, why can't you behave? You're a bully. You're a goof off. Mag. Clown. Till you behave. Wait, please. You need to accept each other. There's time to have fun, and there's time to tone it down. He'll never learn. He'll never listen. Look, I'm a no-nonsense kind of guy. But even I know you gotta kick back and have fun sometimes. No one likes fun more than me, but there are times when you gotta buckle down and do what you gotta do. Go ahead. You can do it! Well, I'll try if you will. Stop! Don't come out here! Dibble! I missed you! Aw, oh, Dibble. Look at you. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Glumpy. Dibble's still Dibble. Oh? Yeah, you are, aren't you? You're still Dibble. Oh, you betcha. <laughs> and I'm still grumpy. That gold rock, it had a different shape from the others. I remember it. Come on, Dibble. I think I remember where it is. Good going. 
Dibble? of the rainbow in there. All of those. And many more. Ooh. You can say that again. Dibble first. Yay! Ooh! <laughs> now, Glumpy! Phase two is in position. Phase two, in position. She didn't switch the seats. I didn't think she could be trusted. Plunk to the rescue! What are you doing? That's the wrong seed! No, that's the wrong seed! No, that's the wrong seed! The right seed. No, then just try it out. <laughs> That's deep enough. Robbie, stand by to launch the seed. <laughs> Ten, nine, uh -oh. uh, uh, eight, seven. <laughs> which one's which? I, I'm not sure I know. Yeah, you gotta know. You handled bad seeds when you lived in Westerland. Handled seeds of carrot. What are you doing? Something I hope I don't regret for the rest of my life. I'm trusting you. Two. One. one. It's this one. Zero. Everything is struggling. Even the master can't keep a seedling healthy. Here, I've got the info. According to the records, while the rumbler's behavior might be considered rude, it's invaluable to the environment. Their antics turn stony ground soft. Their instincts lead them to find unplantable ground, then they improve the soil and move on. In fact, their arrival is a sure sign that the soil is in desperate need of pulverizing. Oh. Thanks, Bedtime. That explains why the Wiffles can't get anything to grow. We fail to appreciate the unique talents of our noisy neighbors. You mean I messed up. Big time. If the garden is to flourish, we have to get the Rumblers to return. That's on me. I made them go. I'll bring them back. Is that what I think it is? Yep. Looks like Funshine got the Rumblers to race him back here. They couldn't resist the challenge. Oh, yay! <laughs> It'll only be a few more days. When the rumblers are done playing, the soil will be ready. Then they'll move on. You'll dig it, your mastership. Your plants will grow humongous. Good news. Dibble and I have been in the workshop whipping up something we all need. Earplugs. Ta-da! Watch out, Rumblers! Here come the Rumblers! Huh? You ever get the feeling something seriously strange is going on? Yeah, every day. What's wrong? Oops, forgot to test them. They must have too much power. Oh no, the noise is disturbing the peaceful persimmons. 
What's going on? The voltage framisators are frying. The what? The extra pursuit of protectors. What extra protectors? The ones you told me to duplicate. Um, we'll talk about this later. Right now, we have to save the persimmons. Quick, go calm down the whiffles. I'll shut down the protectors. Hey, there, there, come on. Whoa, I've never seen Cheer move so fast. It's like she's everywhere at once. Cher was right. I've been working way too hard. <laughs> oh, Cher, are you all... Whoa! Um, what's going on? That's what I want to know. Where'd you two come from? I tricked Cher into duplicating me so I could have help protecting the persimmons. And how did you get here? I just remember I was resetting the scanners. <gasps> The scanners! That's when I was duplicating the carburetors. I must have accidentally duplicated you too, Cheer. Wow, this is one emergency I didn't see coming. Guess you can't prepare for everything. That's my motto! Even when you work your hardest. And after watching how hard they were working, I realized something. You were right. It's good to take a break when you need one. Ooh, ooh, Dad. Huh? Oh, this is Fearless Frida, the bravest bear in the world. Superhero, super courage. Nothing scares her. Whoa. Nothing? Uh-uh, nope. Oh, wait. There was a monster that frightened her, but she went ahead and faced it anyway. Huh. Now that's bravery. Dibble be like Frida. Dibble be like Frida. <laughs> okay, sounds good to me. You can be Daring Dibble, the bravest Whipple in the world. What's missing? Every superhero worth her cape needs one of these, just like we Care Bears have. Check it out! Your very own bravery belly badge! Ooh! Dibble feel brave! Yes, yeah, yeah, super brave! Doing Dibble! You spoke to me, but I couldn't hear. What did you say? Listen. Listen. Listen to what? I know what we have to do. We'll be back. Don't go outside while we're gone, okay? Don't listen to the wind. It lies. Foolish man. Foolish man. Goes back. Never find your way. Watchful one.
We met once before, in a dream. It wasn't a dream, Tenderheart. It was real. You saved me. The winds led you astray. I brought you here to learn the things you need to lead the Care Bears. I've been watching, and you've led them well. to see. <laughs> so, does our cleaning get the grumpy seal of approval? Hmm, not bad. But still, one more test. I call this test Grumpy's Dust Sniffer Outer, because when it comes to dust, my nose always knows. Well, I'm proud of you, team. Oh. The Cloud Seeker smells like fresh laundry hanging in a breeze, not a speck of dust. If I was grading you, I'd give you all an A, 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 Gesundheit? Why, there must be dust lurking inside this closet. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> Dibble ready. Oh, there's the opening ceremony. You're on. <laughs> I tell you, I saw it myself, boss. A giant game of hide and seek. Don't bother me! This is the only game I care about, and I'm winning! But what if the finder never finds them? The silly leaf whiffles are honor bound to stay hidden forever, and you will be free to turn the whole place into a new bluster land! Yes! Malcolm, my lad, it's a brilliant plan! Now that's the kind of sneaky genius I used to expect from you! <laughs> Let the game begin! Hiders ready! <sighs> Finder ready! Then start counting. And no peeky! No peeky! No peeky for us, too. No one's allowed to see where the Wiffles hide. Come on, we'll run some tests on the Cloud Seeker. Una say, two the day, three B, court to four to day, three I, couple me. Now, let the real game begin. Uh. <laughs> Safe for now. But the silver lining isn't. Fighting them is getting us nowhere. If only we could get caring to spread as fast as these bad plants, our jobs would be a lot easier. Wait, that's it. What Sheer just said. What? Caring. Whoa. Now? Are you sure? What? Caring. Yes, instead of fighting, we should be caring. We can share our caring with the plants. 
So as the Scribble Puffs spread, they'll also be sharing the caring. Uh, guys, it's now or never. Let's do this. Ready? Bring it on. Everybody, share your care and care bear Think it worked? We'll soon see. Come on, you scribble puffs. Share that care. Dibble, what are you doing? Dibble caring. You'll be caring too, okay? Huh? Ah! <laughs> Like I always say, never underestimate the power of caring and, and sharing. Cheer, I think we have a problem down at the gnome's cave. All their flowers are frowning, and I just met Gus and Garth's uncle. Very unfriendly. You think he's up to something? Yeah, and whatever it is, it's not good. I'll get my scooter. Where is it? Where'd you hide it? Where'd you hide it? Hey, you two. We can hear you all the way outside. Why are you shouting at each other? Oh, this is just a known family game. Nothing to see here. He, he took, took my crystal, crystal heart. heart! I thought you were both sharing it. <laughs> we were, until he swiped it. Oh, no, you swiped it! Hey, I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding. You care too much about each other to let a misunderstanding tear you apart. Well, the boys are fine. Just doing what comes naturally to greedy gnomes. Please, Garth, Gus, remember how the crystal heart changed your greed. Think back and remember. The heart crystal is my gift to you two. But remember, only love will make it work. Whoa. Thanks. I remember. I'm not greedy. And I'm so sorry, Gus. I remember too, and I'm sorry, Garth. No! You! You've ruined their beautiful greediness! But greed isn't beautiful. Caring and sharing is the way to go! And when we start feeling greedy again, we just have to do something caring for someone else, and the greed will go away. Caring time! <laughs> We have to get him to that lake before sunrise. Whoa. No, Cloud Seeker is too big for this part of the journey. We'll have to take the scooters. you to go either, but there's no choice. This is just how it has to be. We have to think of what's important. You know, like the big picture? Tender Heart says we all grow. We all change. We move on to other things. That's just how it is. Do you see, my friend? <laughs> Do you? Do you see? Huh? 
light? Is it you? Yes, you were right, Jim. This is how it had to be. But our friendship will go on. As long as we remember each other. All I need is a nice big lightning bolt. Better stand back, Bluster. Outside will scare the whiffles out of the silver lining. This, my frightening friend, is called a whiffle. Aw, how cute is that? Not cute, bad. Whiffles are bad, bad, bad. Got it, Mr. Monster Plant? Now go for it, my monstrous creation. Find the bad whiffles, terrify them, chase them away. <laughs> um, question, how can anything so cute be so bad? <laughs> you know, maybe they're not so bad after all. Why don't you go reach out and make friends with them? Friends? Okay, now that I like. I'll be in touch. The Whipple's gone. I'll pave over their gardens for Blosterland! <laughs> She distracts us, then the other dudes charge in. Uh, we're trapped, there's no escape! Mm, I don't think that's her plan. Robbie, hello! Long time! Listen, you guys gotta turn it... Turn it down! What? No way! What's a beach party without a dance beat? Listen, give me a break, huh? If you don't turn down the music, Bluster's gonna get really mad. At us? Well, duh, of course at you. And at you. Oh, that too. Hey, help me out, will ya? We're all stuck here till the time lock opens on Malcolm's magnificent weather dome. <sighs> look, look, I'm just trying to cut a deal here. You don't bother us, I promise we won't bother you. Fair? Give us a minute. So you guys heard what she... Mmm, that smells good. Veggie kebabs. So you heard Robbie's offer? Uh, yeah, and I vote forget it. DJ and our dance party's my thing. I don't want my tunes stifled. Besides, how can we trust her to keep her part of the deal? She works for Bluster. I'd say give her a chance. What? She works for Bluster, but she doesn't like him. Yep, I agree with Grumpy. Ugh. I'm in. Okay, we'll give her a chance. <laughs> 